There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you fucking people didn't think we'd do it. Didn't think they'd do what? They didn't think we'd stream ever again. Ooh. But we did it. I'm here. We fucking did it. Yeah, man. Fucking get back yeah, yeah, in. That's it. right. Getting yeah. some applause. Yeah. I showered. <laughs> that's the I think that you again, you're clean, mm -hmm. you're stable, yeah. we're here. It's my fucking mandate. Um please open with killing in the name of name of I am begging. Um, no, this is not tonight's something else. Tonight's about it. It's a Journey down to the actual fucking hallway of the mind of AI. The hallway down the mind of AI. I don't what think do you? That's not a real statement. Yeah, we're gonna get to. The, you're gonna see. All right, it's a long hallway. Yeah, what's at the end of the hallway? The fucking a robot. It's a robot. Okay. It is a robot All that right. I don't like. It's a robot that thinks it's us. Oh, okay. Right? And it's not us. Even though I did recently talk to a friend who had lunch with Grant Morrison. Recently. Oh. And Grant Morrison is of the opinion that AI should go unfettered, that there should be no balances. He thinks that AI should be open and then just released out to the, because obviously he's chaos. Well, yeah. he's chaos. Yeah. And he's also like, he's in his sixties now. He's to the point where he doesn't care. He, he just wants to see, because I think I want to be that same sort of old man where it's like. You just sort of want to see what happens. But hey, man, hey, I'm curious as all hell. Yeah, so am I. But I'm, hey, I mean, but that's the, as long as he's not releasing the AI. Yes, yeah. he himself. doesn't. He, I don't think he has access to the AI. <laughs> he's still just a comic book writer. Um, Sleazy Dan says Eddie's going to take over for Wilford Brimley. God, oh, God willing. Man, we got to get you oats. Yeah. That's an oats commercial. I, I have to get oats, period. I got to start eating oats. He got like a horse. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I like overnight be... oats. Have you tried overnight oats? They're fine. They're it's wet. It's really changed my life. <laughs> Do you like it that much? I really love overnight oats. I probably eat overnight oats like three times a week. What are we going to do? There he is. There he is. That fucking guy. Look, he holds a spoon like a goddamn champion. <laughs> he loves eating oats. Yeah. God, he was holding that spoon like he's about to thwack his grandson on the forehead with it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I got that beta, son. Um, Eddie's shirt is AI right now. You do, li is, you accidentally wore a green shirt. I accidentally wore a green shirt because yeah. I'm an idiot. It's it not. You're not it's an still, idiot. It's, it's still a color. It looks blue. Yeah. It looks nice. It's, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, you just look like you're coming in and out. Uh, <laughs> Henry's completely decked out in meth syndicate. No, it's just a hat. This is all my other buddy's shirt. Robocock. Robocock. Um, which is again, it's just a series of shirts that my friends keep giving me as artists. Mm -hmm. um, I believe this is Addicted to Chaos sent me this, or it was, it might have been, I forgot who else sent me Lord Humongous. Lord Humongous sent me this. That's a very um, much a Lord Humongous. It's all of these, but yeah. the problem with all of these shirts is that they're all increasingly unable for me to wear in public. What's it, <laughs> what's it say on the bottom? Uh, dead or alive, you're coming with a you uh, <laughs> with me. Yes, you're coming with right, me. Yeah, you see, it's good. He's a sharer. You know, it's not, it's not like you're, you know, I'm coming. It's a, we're, you're coming with me. Both of us are going to come together. Robocock is going to suck your dick till you come. He's going to take you out to dinner. You're going to go to Six Flags. It's actually going to be a nice time. Is That's he still nice. a policeman? I, I mean, if he's not on duty. He's not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and as soon as he's oh, off he's duty. he's on duty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's in duty. Yeah, he's licking it up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God, it's great. Um, Harrison, this whole thing reminds me of Stephen Wolfram. He tried writing a sci-fi story in the magazine. He sent it to it. Hated it. Honestly, hilarious. Can't tell whether or not it says more about sci-fi or Wolfram. I don't know what you're talking about. Stephen Wolfram. That name sounds familiar. I believe he may be an author of some sort. Oh, um, okay. Great. Hey. It checks out. But hey, I'm where is the wolf from? <laughs> Germany. What's going on? What are we doing? What's first? <laughs> you just, oh, again, first symptom. Um, so we, I wanted to first take us back to a video that reminds me of when you're sick at home from school okay. and it's fun. Mm -hmm. I miss Maury, man. Oh my God, oh, Maury, Maury was the best. Best. This is just one. I just want to watch one of these because they got a little section of this. It's really good. We can I, talk over it too. I, I think I may know what you're, what you're about to show. And, I, and I've thought about showing it, but thought better. I, I thought against it. I think this is funny as hell. <laughs> All right. This is I'll funny. See, I'll see if it's the one that I'm thinking of. We'll find um, out. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get upset. No, it's not. Okay. Okay. 
Look at your little girl. Look at your little boy. You Very much them. so not his children. <laughs> yeah. But you don't think they're yours. Just everybody just kept on every time we were out somewhere, my my family, they would just say that they're not. There's no way at all. Amanda says she Look didn't at her innocent. Going. That's what she says. Look at her hair. hair. I, a part of me wants to believe her, yeah. but the insecurities Shh. after with everything that's went on in our life. It's nothing it's, to do, James. Just hard. Can I tell you something? We asked her to take a lie detector test. She wouldn't do it. Oh. No. Oh, hard to stick that. Maury. Oh, hard to stick that. They wanted me to take a lie detector test about the prison stuff. About the prison stuff. About the prison okay. stuff. Okay. Which is a whole other beginning of over my twins. I, the lie detector test was about the situation in the prison. And me and him have dealt with that. That was after our She looks like a Miss Piggy doll guy fucking perm. I don't know, perm. We were I don't know how those clients, things screwed so, right? into her head. Yes. And you take the kids there. Yep. And what do the customers say? All of them say, are they adopted? <laughs> and I say, supposedly I'm their father. Oh, oh, supposedly. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, their dad. Who cares? She's loving it. The DNA the results, results are in. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I miss this fucking show, oh, man. There too. needs to be more of this. When it comes to four-year-old Stormy James. <laughs> is there Who's anyone? cousin Tutu? This man is the father of these twins. James, <laughs> find out. This is a photo of James. Okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Now we are. These are ah, their four-year-old well. twins. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I don't think so. What happened to not can show see children's the kids faces? Look different they only just started. They only just started putting bars James, over their eyes. And I'm positive he's the father. Positive. I have never cheated on James. Look at you you don't don't have to her hair got flat. You love them, don't you? Yes, I do. But you don't think they're yours. Just every time we were out somewhere, my, my family. It's just, this <laughs> woman is just like, not. lie, lie, lie. Like, like she's just take a still take hoping it's going to work out. He wants it so bad. <laughs> he wants it so bad. <laughs> You're on the show. They're not your kids. <laughs> it is never <laughs> going like, to be good for still, you. She still thinks. Four-year-old Stormy, James. You are not the father. No way! No way! Oh shit! Uh, oh shit! Jameson! No! You are oh, not the Oh shit! Father. What are we gonna fucking do? Uh, Why would fucking, she sit there? Why is she so upset? Oh god, I love her. <laughs> they just bring her to another couch? Yeah, they always, they, well, they have the runaway couch on Maury. Obviously, you didn't watch See, a whole is, lot of Maury. No, this is staged. Like Maury. <laughs> this is staged. No, it was, All right, I think we did it good, because this is just now, they just sit and cry, and then yeah. you know, he's, good he's guy. like, well, because he'll do the thing now, where he's like, I'll take care of the kids anyway. Yeah, they've yeah. been my kids for years now, and I'm just going to keep on raising them like they was my own. And that's a good man. Yeah, that's a good man. It's a very good man. No, but when, uh... Back before, uh, back when I started work at like noon every day and work yeah. from like noon to 10, I used to watch Maury every morning at 10 a.m. Like I would start my day, I'd wake up at 10 and I'd watch Maury. And it's a wonderful, I mean, it was a wonderful way to start the day for a long time. I loved Maury. I love Maury. I miss Jerry Springer. Is there anything like that anymore? Does everything have to be kind now? I think Maury's still on. Yeah. What yeah. was, was the other one? Sally Jesse Raphael. Yeah. Loved her. Yeah, yeah she loved was great. Her. I liked her. Yeah, I liked more... Springer that was the best because he, he like I liked his talk down. Wait, right. academic. I'm glad for this content. We wouldn't have gotten four years of Trump without it. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Was... It ended last year. Yeah, dude. It's oh, not wow. that it wasn't over that long ago. Thirty one wow. years. Yes. Oh yes. Wow. Man. Jay, I was homesick from elementary school watching one of these Maury DNA episodes when my childhood dog had a seizure and died. Yeah, not Nothing good. Happens good while Maury's on. You know, you know <laughs> I just, I mean, honestly, I didn't want to come. You're like, out, you're like getting a fucking root canal and waiting to get fucking drilled by the dentist, and Maury's on. That's what I think of when I think of Maury. Yeah, I always remember I was at the worst dentist I ever was at. It was in, but the, when I lived in Brooklyn, off the mm -hmm. gate stop of the J train. Oh yeah. And I remember one time I went to the dentist, and did the same it was that I was, uh, I went in, and there was a. What I remember, there was a group of men that had surrounded the front of where the dentist was, they were all fighting each other. <laughs> and I remember how to go me like going around them and they kind of called me a pussy for having clean teeth. Mm -hmm. And then I remember going in there and then the man, um, I always remember he kept hurting me, right? He got, he kept hurting me and- Like, like punching like, you? Punch like, well, the, the dentist was stabbing me and stabbing me. And finally I looked and I realized because he wasn't paying attention to me, he was watching over me an episode, it's either, it must've been Maury or it was Springer with the world's fattest baby. <laughs> and he was watching the world's fattest baby going like, 
<laughs> you know, not even a compelling guest. And then, like, I finally had to grab his hands, the dentist's hands, and or like, get off of me. And like, I don't give a fuck. I gotta go. You're you're literally hurting me because he was like not paying attention. It was great. Wow, world's fattest baby though. That is a compelling guest. I can watch the world's fattest baby eat for like an hour. He wasn't that, even. It was. It was. Zach, it the, might have been the, that. <laughs> it might have been. This. I there could was watch. One. I could watch this baby do anything. I mean, that kid's like four. <laughs> Ah, uh, he's just unhealthy. Uh, yeah, of know, course he's unhealthy. Mm, maybe he's three. I maybe he's three. A, that kid, yeah, they could be on three, steroids maybe. and just yeah. not doing the workout. A toddler. Um, yeah. Lucy oh, Bell. Hey, oh, hey, yeah. Way to go. It's Way weird how his hair just moved. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, Lucy Bell asks, does anyone remember the show Forgive or Forget? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no, that's don't. a no. I don't know whether or not. Are you from somewhere else? Yeah. Are you from far away? Are you from uh, Narnia? Because <laughs> none of us remember that. Yeah. No, I do. Have you ever, when uh, during our trips over to England, did you ever watch Jeremy Kyle, Henry? Jeremy Kyle is like, the, he's a combination between Maury and uh, Jerry Springer, and he, but except he's really mean spirited. Mm -hmm. Like, he's fucking awful. It's incredible it's to still watch. Still around? Uh, I think it might still be around, but yeah, it's, I mean, this guy's like, cause he gets mean, cause it's all like, all the guests are like some version of Fred and Rose there West. He is. Like they are the, oh, seriously yeah. like okay. just these awful, horrific English hillbillies. Uh, I didn't just, Jeremy just Kyle? Goes, Jeremy Kyle, yeah, and he just and he just fucking rips them a new asshole and tells them how awful they are I love and this. how stupid they are and how all their decisions are wrong. It is absolutely wonderful. All right. I'm yeah, sure people hate him. No, I'm, I'm sure everyone in England hates him, but yeah. man, it was, I it was like great it. to see. Again, you ain't better than us, England. <laughs> no. You ain't fucking better than us. They Actually, lost two wars. <laughs> But they think they're fancier than us because they just eat flatter things. No, that's actually watching Jeremy Kyle was what made me like feel good about being American oh, because no. I was over in England. Like we were like, you know, it's England and it was my first time out of the country. It's like, oh, this place is so oh, classy. Yeah, they better it's know also what classy. And then I saw Jeremy Kyle it's like, fuck this country. These people <laughs> are not better than us in any way whatsoever. They better than us. each other over soccer. Yeah, I mean, we also just randomly shoot each other over nothing. So at least it's over spot. It's, it's over soccer. Yeah, yeah they that's do. Um, new. That's new. <laughs> that's new. That's only that's like twenty new. years old. Yeah, We're just getting thing. good at it. Yeah, Jason just getting started. says, "I had a buddy who got paid to be an incestual redneck on Springer. They fly you out and they put you up in a hotel in addition to paying well." Mm. I've heard this. Now, this yeah. is one of those things that I feel like is hotly debated about. Like, I think some of it is legit. Some of it is not legit. I think yeah. they obviously probably. I bet you, you got to do what? Five shows a week? Yeah, for at least four. So yeah. at some point, yeah. some of this shit has to be like staged in order for you to have content that week. Well, I think Springer is mostly or was mostly staged, but Maury, there was always just an unending supply of morons that were willing to go on that show and take paternity tests. That's because what they, they all should have been called, the people on the show. The morons. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah. That should have been a shirt. Yeah. That's fucking merch. Um, Spring Hill Jack was going to brow. Fred and Mo Rose West also made me realize that their hill folk over in the UK are just as gross as ours. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. completely it's, real. It really was. You ain't better than us, England. You ain't better than us. Yeah. When you All got right. nothing to do, you're going to lose your teeth. There we go. Let's see what this next video is. I don't remember what this is. <laughs> So this is like a yeah. spicy song that I believe this takes place in. Uh, I felt a, I felt a song coming yeah. when she was talking. Fuck you. She is saying fuck you. Yeah, I know. No, it's just but it, I thought you, it was just another language. You. Oh, I thought it was fuck you, no fuck you. I thought she was saying fuck you, I'll fuck you. Oh. Like, it might be. I think it's fuck you, I'll fuck you. I, the song is just called fuck you. Okay, can yeah. we hear it? Can we hear it again? Yeah, because I think it's no fuck you. I think it's fuck you, I'll fuck you. That means nothing. Um, fuck you, no fuck you. Fuck you, no fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you no fuck you. No, you're right. It's fuck you, no fuck you. Fuck you, no fuck you. Fuck you, no fuck you. She can't make decisions. Fuck you, no fuck you. Fuck you, no fuck you. Hell yeah. Hey man, fuck you, no fuck you. She's just scared of her rights. Maybe she's having a conversation with herself, like fuck you, no fuck you, no fuck you. You know, I love you know confidence. Me too. I like I it do. too. That's what I love, especially 
Unearned confidence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing is better than somebody who truly believes yeah, that they are extremely sexy. Thankfully, my Instagram algorithm has switched over from people who have unearned confidence over to most mostly synthesizer content. Okay, good. Wow, how? Yeah. I, don't, I just started you know, following a couple of synthesizer uh, uh, Instagram pages, and now it's just, it's, I would say 70% synthesizers. And it makes me so happy. Yeah. Synthesizers just make me happy. Of course. They're oh, yeah. wonderful. Why do they not make you happy? I know. I my said, my algorithm's just dogs, bears, and gators. See, that's incredible. Again, you still have innocence of heart. Mine is still like women that you can kind of see their nipples through their shirt, right. sneakers. And then recently, the new thing is, honestly, kind of upsetting, where they're like, you know, like, Things wives do to make that that is unfair to husbands. This like weird like relationship advice like videos that get sent to me, and I'm like, I don't need. I'm we're happy, right? We're happy. And Natalie's like, yeah, don't listen to the phone. Yeah, the phone yeah. doesn't mean that I'm mad at you. And I was just like, am I? Are you happy with me? Yeah. She's like, yeah. And she was like, this is what the phone is doing to us. That's nice. Yeah, I think it causes up some shit. Phone's killing us all. I got just what. Bones Peace. killing Peace. us all. Crawl space. Can we get a wife night where the ladies join the show? Not I actually, I love this idea. Mm -hmm. We should night. do a thing because we did it a long time ago. We that did. was like 2016. Yeah. yeah, we should have them replace us. That'd be wonderful, and then we and can fucking sleep. They <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch the stream? Wonderful. My God, I'd love it. God, that I'd would be incredible. It so much to sleep. To dream. No, hey, to, to sleep, sleep when we're dead. To sleep a chance to dream. No, you don't want to dream. <laughs> Dreams are all nightmares. Oh my God, I had a nightmare the other like two nights ago that I fucking murdered someone by accident. Yeah. And then I had to like check myself into prison. That's and a classic. And then I wake up and I'm like, all right, yeah, I guess I'm going to fucking prison. That's, that's a classic. That's, yeah, that's the. What was that movie with Edward? Twenty four hours later, or what was that movie with uh, Edward Norton where he killed the guy and Brian Cox was his dad? Oh, oh. Uh, is it the? Um, it was twenty fifth hour. Twenty fifth hour. That's yeah, right. That that's it right. was the weird like post nine eleven one where they it wasn't about 9-11 yeah. yeah yeah it was a great movie though yeah no i liked it uh, yeah honestly that was one of his best movies because that was the one like right after 9-11 yeah it was because he, he had, had weird he had a crazy speech in it I forgot. yeah whereas like barry pepper like lives in an apartment like across the street from ground zero and so they're like just like staring down at ground zero and it's like eight months later and they have this great speech it's a fucking incredible movie and brian cox is incredible as the father i actually might rewatch that that's a really good how movie. does barry pepper not have his own hot sauce uh he <laughs> I think it's because he didn't have the reach. Yeah, someone's yeah. gotta you know talk to him. He would have he could have been a hot sauce hey. guy who did movies on the side. He <laughs> might have an ulcer. Yeah, who knows? Think about this. Your name is Barry Pepper. Mm -hmm. It's like George Went, who's like turning into booze. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. And I mean, eventually, like a bunch of guys be like, "Be he despised." So you think you think that Barry Pepper has guys walking up to him with a handful of peppers? You eat a pepper. <laughs> I dare you eat a pepper. I see Saving Private Ryan. Just guys, I dare you. Just guys with peppers in their pockets. Hey, the hey, pepper boys. Who are these pepper men? We who are these it. pepper men that you think exist? We take it. I thought your name was Pepper. <laughs> I thought they called you Mr. Pepper. <laughs> you're, you're fake. Do you think you're fake, Mr. <laughs> you're fake. I know. I'm right on IMDb. Sometimes I wish I'd keep my thoughts in my head. <laughs> <laughs> the stream podcast is this stream podcast is poised to become husbands or husbands are sometimes right. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about this. Marcus and I have been talking yeah. about a thing yeah. where we'll do a show. We're like, it's just called Sometimes Husbands Are Correct. Yeah. You, you just talk about the same thing every yes, week. Yeah, the one it's time. Like, the one time. We were all correct. The one time that we had it over on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, and then, no. And then, it's, and then there's also, it cuts to a live feed of our wives in the listening other room on, listening. Mad, and just, just, and just so angry <laughs> and, and refuting us and saying about like how I was like well that's not really like he's telling his version of it um, <laughs> which is you know that's just what he does I just want to just say right now my wife is correct As, <laughs> I want to say it into a camera and I want to say it in a microphone in front of me I just want to say my wife is correct and I'm fucking I'm here baby I'm yeah. locked in I just want to say right into the camera that my wife doesn't watch this show yeah. I can <laughs> say whatever I want so I can tell you, I can say whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> I'm gonna say that it's an 80 20 chance that you're watching right now. 20 not. He loves a you. Possum. I love you, dog. He loves you. You know that. Oh, Carolina, you, know. you keep your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> you don't talk to my wife like that. You don't talk to that's my wife. Good work, Marcus. You don't talk to my Good work, wife like that. Like we'll and like. speaking of wives, this is the perfect segue to my next video. Is it a bunch of knives? 
just like you always see me the little hearts on you know on the hangouts and stuff and the uh, little kissy faces and everything I got you this ring is sterling silver it's got burgettes and good from verme um, you can see oh, let me try to get the focus it's diamond Damn accent. It. Yeah. But I Is wanted to ask you if you would be my internet wife. You know, I mean, it's just for the internet engagement uh, proposal. Um, if not, can we just accept the ring as a friend? And it could be a friendship ring. Put your if you don't want to be my internet wife, um, that's fine. But I, but what I was wondering if you'd be my internet wife. So, okay, questions. Two questions. Yeah. One okay. The really the question. One question is: Was he at a location? That's Walmart. Where there? Okay. So at that Walmart, is the jewelry counter across from the potato section? A lot of times it is. I actually had a friend who worked at the jewelry counter at Walmart for a, a good period of time. Honestly, it's really it's priority right next to the produce. It's right next to it. Is really is right next to the produce. Sometimes, sometimes yeah. it's amongst the clothing. <laughs> he was walking because every he's other pacing, he wants to think about it. He wants you know, to he's gonna ask her. I gotta ask her to yeah. be my internet wife. I gotta ask her because if she if she don't say yes on the internet, it's not real. Yeah. But he gets to the potatoes, and that's where he decides this is the spot. I think that he felt spiritually represented by the potato. <laughs> I, uh, sure. I bought Julie's uh, engagement ring at Costco. It's oh, honestly, yeah. they yeah, have yeah, good yeah, jewels. Yeah, nice. It was very yeah, platinum fucking ring yeah. with uh, one carrot right on top. It's nice. Did you get a hot dog while you were there? I did get a fucking <laughs> hot dog when I was there. And you know what? They didn't have the ring I wanted in the store. And so I had to come back a week later to get it. Right. Mm. And I'm standing in line waiting to get this fucking ring. And then the guy in front of me is like returning a giant thing of peanut butter. <laughs> and I'm just like, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> it's probably the reason why you got the diagnosis that you got. Did you get the, another hot dog when you went back? Yeah. I mean, well, you always, I mean, their hot dogs are so cheap. Yeah, and they're really, and you know, that's the funny thing. When I was walking out the door today or tonight, you know, my, my wife, my wonderful fucking wife asked, <laughs> fucking, fucking, hands up. Wife. Hands up. Hands up. I'm, I'm innocent. I'm I, she asked me, what do you feel like for dinner tonight? And I said, you know what I really want? I don't, I, this isn't going to happen, but I want a hot dog for dinner. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how I'm going to make this happen. I don't know how I'm going to make Tonight? There's hot tonight. dogs everywhere. Everyone yeah, I'll get you a hot, hot dog. Dogs. But where am I going to get a hot dog? I got a fucking hot Did dog they... for you right here. You whoa, 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 I know it's right next to you the Home Depot. To the, you could go to the Costco. I don't think the Costco is oh, yeah. open that over way. Universal City. Walk. Also, I Gurney. Know. Gurney. She said Wiener Schnitzel's open on Coldwell. Yeah, Wiener Schnitzel. There right is over, actually. Yeah. I know exactly where that Wiener Schnitzel. I've never been to Dur Wiener Schnitzel. You won't like it, and I never will be able to. Go. You won't like it. Um, yeah. We get here. So I'm Casey sorry. said, of, of "Internet wife." She said, "Yes, y'all." Whoa! Yeah, that's very nice. No, no, no. um, Luke says, I got a buddy paid to be gay on Springer and another to be a cross dresser. One tongue kissed his boyfriend, the other stripped down to a banana hammock. $500 for the day. That's not bad. That's, that's not, not bad. Especially right? back in the 90s. Yeah. I mean, you're like throwing your acting career in the trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're throwing your life in the trash. Bucks. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, just yeah. gone. Yeah. You know? Um, oh yeah, this is interesting. Barry Pepper, Harrison, this is true, will always be the caveman from Battlefield Earth to me. Oh, That's nice. he was in that. Yes, he was great. Leverage. He also he's the he's the rogue hot guy. He's the Luke Skywalker. Yeah. He's the Luke Skywalker of Battlefield Earth. Yes. Ah, oh, he's the guy that's depicted on the Battlefield Earth uh, record that I have. Yes, Barry yeah, okay. Pepper, I believe his entire career was destroyed by choosing that vehicle. Yeah, do you think he was a uh, Scientologist? Well, no, not at all. He was just in, most sci most Scientologists are not in Scientolo Scientological material. This is great. A lot of times they don't use Scientologists. Most of the time, because if they then defect, they then won't have them back, and the, they have to sue. They get themselves out. So the one person that was never going to leave was John Tra, John Travolta. So he'll yeah. do it. But it's like Natalie once auditioned for Scientology commercial. Oh, really? Like, you can do this. It's like they mostly look for people outside because yeah. they also view us as lessers. Then you yeah. know what? You know what? I uh, oh, there he is. Look wow. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah, he I mean, was great in Crawl, and he way. was also great in Saving Private Ryan. I mean, Saving Private Ryan, he's unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, he's a great sniper. Yeah, so good. He's yeah, he good. shoots that Nazi right through the eyes. It's wonderful. He's great in that movie, and then he ruined it all. And it's that easy. 
All it those is guys true. were good, but they ended up not having great careers. But yeah, they, but you know who else was in that in Saving Private Ryan? What? Scientologist. Giovanni Rabisi. Yeah. Yep. Mama, mama. I be- you remember that? Oh, yeah, when he's dying, the medic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty words. certain he renounced. I'm not certain. I don't know. He might have gotten out. The I don't Rabisi know. family was very big. Unless he might have been one of the league of actors that wrote being like, Danny was great to me. <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, Chad is, too. Edward Chad is too. arguing about types of hot dogs. There's only one. Unless you talk, you count bratwurst. I view that as sausage. Well, that's not, yeah. Not, you know, types yeah. Of, but they have like chicken dogs and turkey dogs. Yeah, Except bra- when we were in Sweden in and in, in, in Germany, the Frankfurter is its own type of sausage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it comes from Frankfurt. I and think you, so. You know who secretly has. Of course has, it does. You know who secretly has the best hot dogs in the world? Iceland. Really? You know why? Hot dogs are made of lamb and it's delicious. Whoa. Don't. D- nice. It is the best hot dogs I've ever had in my life. They're incredible. They get you get these crispy onions on it. Mm-hmm. They have this mustard they only make there. It's lamb dogs. It was like when we had venison dogs at your house the other night, where it was like, I'll take a lamb hot dog, but that's not my baseline hot dog. Can I ask you, how come we don't eat sheep? Why don't we only eat lamb? There's mutton because it's yeah. bad. It's it, tough. It's bad meat. Yeah, it's tough. And yeah. it's and lamb is uh, quickly becoming my favorite meat. Of oh, course, and it's so good. I love lamb so, so much. I mean, so, so much. Cute. Yeah, they're so cute and they taste so good. In fact, that might be what I eat tonight. I might eat some lamb. That's nice. Indian food. That sounds great. Oh, I thought you were just going to find it from outside. Yeah. Grady, lamp, back when I was lucid near. dreaming, I had a dream where I helped some zookeepers catch a weird skinless monkey demon and escape from the zoo. I woke up and had some sleep paralysis and saw the monkey thing on my ceiling, kind of like one of the liquors from Resident Evil. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. Oh, whoa. Camille, is that real? Wiener Schnitzel uses AI for the drive through ordering? I mean, you know, the hot dogs are probably fucking AI for all we know. That's <laughs> fucked up. I don't know. I, that's, I'm just, again, I can't fact I, I couldn't imagine the Wiener Schnitzel having any kind of technology. Maybe could they ship it from Germany. No, it's not German. They, it's not? They have the name. It's not fucking German. You it's, mean to tell it's me? LA hot dog joint. You mean to tell me it's lying to me? Wiener Schnitzel's? Wiener Schnitzel has been so kind. Have you, both, have you ever had it? Yeah. No. You have had Der yeah, Wiener Schnitzel? Yeah, I've had You've had Der Wiener Schnitzel? Yeah. It's when? a chain. And, really? Uh, at some point in my life. When? Well, did they have it out in Texas? They got it everywhere. I've never seen one except for in LA. No, Der Wiener Schnitzel is a nationwide chain. They're everywhere. Yeah, they're all over the place. Henry, how do you feel about this? I actually, you know, now I, I would try it. I actually feel like, honestly, I've been fighting so long eating, not eating processed foods and doing some mm-hmm. kind of stuff. I think 2024, I'm going to eat more fast food. I like that. Yeah. I'm, you know what? I've been eating a lot more fast food this year. It's not as, it's not as much fun as you think it well, is. Well, in big cities, fast food is worse. Yeah. Than it is in like smaller towns. Oh, I guess that's not German at the all. The world's largest hot dog chain. Mm, oh, chain. Yeah. I was hoping they got, didn't have the word chain and just the world's largest hot dog. That would be incredible. Oh. Yeah. You ever, we had lums growing up. Ooh. Lums. You ever eat a lums? Never lums sounds like one of those oh, yeah. diseases your hot... grandma gets. Absolutely. <laughs> she has to go get her lums scraped yeah. off or something. Have, lums would have hot dogs boiled in beer and then they'd fry them on the grill. Oh, that's that's what incredible. my father, that's yeah. what one of the meals that my father used to make that used to make my mother and Insane because he would always make these, these he'd make chili and beer braised hot dogs. That's mm. the only thing he would do, and he would just leave old beer in a pot yeah. sitting there yeah. for a bunch of hours. Hot dog yeah. Water beer. Yeah. yeah, it was awesome though, honestly. Yeah. It was the most fun we ever had with him. Now I'd like to make a case <laughs> for this young man's plea. Okay. Let's take a look at this video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. For this video, I'm going to be talking about Smegma yet again. Mm. Uh, I've actually got a special guest with me. It's my girlfriend. Um, as I've previously stated, she's not into Smegma herself. Um, it's it's something that's just private for me. Mm. And um, I've, I've tried to convince her, but obviously, I, understandably, what are you trying to do? <laughs> understandably, she's not um, into the idea. I used to be very against it until I sort of had an open mind. What um, idea? Stop being a ignorant person. I don't, I'm not angry at her, darling, I'm not angry at her, but, um, obviously I would, I, I would appreciate if she, if she tried for me, um, but I'm just going to ask her some questions. I've had a lot of comments on my Smegma videos. I'm just mm. going to like sort of feed them back to her, see what she has to say. Um, okay. first question is, uh, it was from a, actually from a Smeg supporter. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to put in this address. What's the road? Boundary road. Okay. So the first question, um, the, the she's far was, too beautiful to be with this man why don't you give it a go why are you being um so close-minded why don't you give smegma a go 
What would your re- re- uh, reply be to that? What, what am I doing with it, eating it? Yes, yes. What would you, well, no, not just eating it, but why are you so against it? Yeah, but why is it? Love's hard. Yeah, but you don't know the the health benefits of smegma. Get out of there! There's plenty hey. of there's plenty of health benefits of smegma. I'm sure the fans know. Okay. What are you doing? No, I don't know. Okay, so <laughs> tell no, no, no. This is serious. Why? I'm not a fan of smegma, but you know, I actually don't even really know what smegma is. Smegma is uh, if I'm if I remember correctly, smegma is the um, the junk that the uh, forms. It's the cheese. It's dick cheese. It's the cheese that forms inside of your foreskin when you don't wash out your foreskin. <gasps> oh, Am I which is why that? that one listener said that sucking on foreskin dick tasted like pancakes. I mean, it I, doesn't taste like pancakes. I don't pancakes. think it tastes like pancakes. No, it doesn't taste Definitely like pancakes. doesn't smell like pancakes. Well, no. it depends I mean, on what you mean. That's what they call it, dick cheese. I think it smells like stinky cheese. Like, yeah. I think it smells like, like it's really, like really stinky. It's like white, stink. usually. You Sometimes know? I'm actually, yellow. now I'm fully disgusted. Yeah. Lucy Bell, my ex- we were, we were Did right. you show, you show that old video not knowing that he's- What Smegma was? What's you didn't Google was? Urban Dictionary. I knew it was what it was. I knew that it was not good. You knew that it was not good. But you didn't know what it was. I don't even know what smegma is. Have, how have we been doing this for so long and you've never learned what smegma you is? You know all kinds of disgusting, horrible, horrible. shit. And this is like basic level horrible shit. Sometimes yeah. things slip through. Do you remember, do you know Mung? Hmm? Mung? Oh yeah, I know Mung. If you know Mung, you should know Yeah, I know smegma. what a, I know what a Blumpkin is. Yeah. Um, I know what, um, I will Fumunda. From from under, from under. Yeah, yeah. But Lucy Bell, my ex didn't shower a ton and was uncircumcised. Let's say I had an unwelcome cheese board when I went down under there. Oh, God. Ah. Just give me, this is, you, you've board. ruined the show, Henry. I like oh, it. no, 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 no. This is the show. But I, like- I was a butcher for years and I need to share that to American. A hot dog consists of a beef and pork, sometimes all beef, spices, predominantly paprika, black pepper, and lightly smoked. Also, most American hot dogs are whipped. The name originates from Dotson Sausages. Hot dogs. I just couldn't stop thinking about smegma the entire time you were talking, and I'm fucking about to puke. I mean, you know, this is a part of life. I started thinking about hot dogs, and now I want a hot dog again. See? It's covered in smegma. <laughs> you see, just let it come back around. Go does. back to the hot dog. Because the hot dog is, even though the hot dog is penis shaped, it's still. Don't want a hot dog. Yeah, Whitney, I mean, I'm just, I'm just not grossed out by things. Like I watch, like during my lunch break, I watch Hoarders. Yeah, because it's yeah. just Hoarders even, is just it fucks with my anxiety. That, yeah. It's not really. I can't watch it because it makes like, me hyper hyper. Like today anxious. I was eating like a turkey sandwich and there was a woman that was like scooping out like a bunch of like there was a guy whose uh, toilet didn't work, his plumbing didn't work, so he was just shitting in paper towels and mm. wrapping them up, and just throwing one. them on the ground, mm. and she was like shoveling all of these shit paper towels out, and it didn't bother me. It was fine with yeah. it, huh? And he's you, there at every local election yeah <laughs> you know what do you want um, to put on your Whit- hot dog like? Whitney says wow. I've cleaned many of horse sticks with smegma yeah I imagine it gets worse when uh, the bigger they are yeah because yeah. they don't know how to wash they're very long mm-hmm. yeah uh, they got hooves even if they knew how to wash they don't have fingers how <laughs> hard would that how much would that hurt <laughs> try to fucking clean your dick <laughs> with no articulation just fucking <laughs> cutting the top of it uh, sauerkraut Sauerkraut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm a big sauerkraut guy. I like sauerkraut and mustard. It's yeah, sauerkraut and mustard. That's that's the way to go. That was my dirty hot water dog yeah. in New York. Sauerkraut. And not mustard. yellow mustard, right? You like the deli? I like the brown. I like yeah, the deli. Brown. I like yeah. brown. Yeah, I like deli. Yeah. 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 Um, this is why Marcus couldn't be more wrong about all dicks tasting the same. Hygiene changes everything. But we actually showed. Well, you what, listen to side stories. Listen to side stories this week. There was very. Yeah, I mean, hygiene of course changes everything. Everything. Sure, sure. sure. But I'm talking about like clean dick. I'm talking about just clean dicks. Mark, Chad Clean thinks Marcus smoke, yeah. is very high. He can't smoke. We literally couldn't smoke weed if he wanted to. I'm not very high. I'm incredibly tired. But yeah. guess what? We're going to fucking wake you up with this next video. That's great. Thank you so much. I want to be high. <laughs> we'll get you there. I believe him. I, I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this guy I'm, is. I'm buying it. Him. Uh-uh. They're buying, they're definitely buying it. She loves it. Mm. Love a visor. See him. Does the spirit of their boy live in him? <laughs> Feed him. Mm. I wish. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, this guy's got it made. I love this guy's life. Do, do, do not fuck up my 
my suit. If you fuck up my suit, <laughs> it puts cheese in on the tongue or it gets the hose in. One ham slice? Oh, that, that might be prosciutto. No, that's not nice. Enough. That's ham. That's ham. Touch, touch him. Touch, touch him. Do it. See where Don't it touch him. Don't poke him. Oh, lifting it up. I love the pat, the Whoa! belly patch. I need this. I like that. I'm glad they're touching him and not. <laughs> I'm Cornelius. <laughs> That's me. Hi, it's me. I'm all full of cheese. It's in ham now. <laughs> God fucking love. I don't know what that video was. Yeah, it has no connection to anything else I found. Yeah. I want to know what. Could, uh, do you think his friends call him Corny? Ooh. I mean, have you ever met a Cornelius in life? I know Cornelius Bennett. He was a linebacker for the Buffalo Bills. But you didn't you meet know him. What's, I never oh, met him. You this know might be what's his name, Cornelius. This might be uh, what's the name of that guy that uh, used to put up Drew a Wagner? yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to put up signs and shit. Maybe it cost twenty five bucks to feed him. No, this is fake. This is now oh. obviously <laughs> now this is a joke. It's not real. You know that. <laughs> You know what, Hen uh, you know what, Ed? I was thinking like, yeah, I think I have met a Cornelius. I was also thinking of the football player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He was a bad motherfucker. Yeah, he, he was know, really I'm a good. Dolphins fan. You know? I know. I, shit, that's one of those guys you just don't you don't fuck with the man named Cornelius. No, I know that for a fact. Don Cornelius. Who's that? Wasn't he the uh, he hosted a uh, fucking Soul Train, right? Yeah, Don Cornelius. Oh yeah, man, yeah, yeah, we yeah. should do a Soul Train. I would love that. I would, love, I would love to do an all Soul Train episode. Yeah. We'll do the big avenue, the. Oh, you meant actually doing a Soul Train. I thought we were just going to play videos from Snow Soul no, Train. No, we could us do the Soul Train. Yeah. Oh, okay. You come through. You have a plate. You have. Oh, like, we any, can all dress Earth, like Earth, ghosts. All Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah, like the people who died. Yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah, would have yeah. been on Soul Train. They're all dead. Yeah, that's, that's a great. great idea. That's a good idea. I actually, really love it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, do, you know, Elvira's wife says it's super hot that Marcus knows Hamlet by heart. I mean, I, I know lines. Mm -hmm. To sleep, a chance to dream. <laughs> <laughs> With these slings and arrows, and outrageous fortune. Far too the slings and arrows flesh. of outrageous fortune do pierce thine to be. <laughs> yeah. I like the beginning when he's like, I'm uh, back, I'm in it, baby! Uh, Horatio! Yorick, I knew him well. Fuck. Yeah, like, perfect. I like The Lion King. If yeah. I'm going to watch Ham when I'm watching The Lion King. <laughs> you just like cartoons. Yeah, I love cartoons, Simba. especially The Lion King. Simba. Of course. I like um, Othello. Now, this next video I have is eight and a half minutes long. Okay. Now, I think that we could jump around, but with this, jump around. Oh, mm. Jump yeah. around. Um, I, uh, we could look through it. Now, there's th a little bit of preamble before this. Now, this used to be, this video is was sort of spread about the internet for a while. Okay. Uh, and kind of got a new resurgence. And it's based off of this guy named Dr. Jonathan Reed, who, whether you believe him or not, he might be a bit of a huckster. I believe he was also involved with some Bigfoot hoaxes as well. Mm -hmm. But this was involves... involved with the... the the cooler full of guts? I actually don't remember. Okay. I don't remember. He was it involved. Is that guy. Okay, yeah. Guy. Same guy with the cooler um, full of guts. Okay. And so he said that he shot an alien in his backyard because it attacked his dog. Shot, oh, it, with shot the, it with a gun. With a gun. Yes. He okay. shot it in the fucking head. Right? And so then he filmed his own home autopsy of this alien. So he, he shot a bipedal creature with hands. Dragged it into his garage and just started cutting into it. Amen. Didn't call the police. Didn't call anybody. He just shot it and started cutting it up. Are you trying to pretend like that's not exactly what you would do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a violent person. I would never. I, you I, call I, me. If an alien started attacking your dog. Yeah, okay. If an alien started attacking my dog, yeah, then yeah I'd take the axe. To, I'd it. take the axe to and it. And then wait, you got a fucking dead alien sitting in your backyard. You're not going to fucking look inside of it? I mean, I'd call someone. You call me? I wouldn't do it alone. You call me on the phone? Yeah. We've already had I'd this. I'd call both of you. You and I both understand we have a we have a mutual understanding that we are have to at least, before we Baker Act, one of us, mm -hmm. right, to say that we're insane after saying that, you know, we've seen an alien or seen a ghost, we have to hear each other out. Yeah, we yeah. really do. Like, we have to give each other, like, the full benefit, benefit of the doubt. Like, we have to really talk it through. Yes. Uh, and then we can decide 
I think we need to give each other like a week grace period. Like you, th- you think about it yeah. for a week. Well, and think you, about this. And then you, you come have back. an alien corpse in your garage for a week. No. If you tell me the story, if I tell you the story, we have to think about it for a week. Then you come back, ask me to tell the story again. Mm. And if it's the same story and if after a week you're still into it. What about this corpse? Well, you get a freezer for your garage. Yeah. You should already have one anyway to hold all your extra meat. Yeah, I have actually been thinking about getting a meat freezer. You need yeah. a meat freezer, dog. Yeah, yeah. man. You would, no. you would use it. Well, my garage isn't that big, though. But it's there's fine, always though. room for a meat freezer. You could put shit on top of it. But that's the thing. I, oh, my God. Like, I got my, my garage is filled up with all my gardening equipment now. You love gardening. Love he does. So much. He yeah. does. He's I becoming love Prue I love from Great so British I'm going to take some pictures. I'll show my flowers are coming in quite nicely. Ooh. Harrison says, follow the Bigfoot money. The original filmers were given money to shoot a Bigfoot movie. Hmm. Follow the money. There's a new Bigfoot um, footage. Did you see it? No, we, we watched it today on Side Stories. Oh, we yeah. we did getting, a breakdown. Don't worry, Tank. Fully Jekyll. into it. All right, I'll listen. Um, it's pretty convincing. So let's watch this. My favorite part about this is the heavy breathing. Is it covered in foil? He covered it in some form of, you know, I think like at the end of a, you know marathons? Yeah. Where they throw the weird thing over you or the end of an action movie? Yeah, Yeah. so it's a heating blanket. It's a Captain Phillips. Okay. So he, okay, so he shot it in his backyard. He wrapped, wrapped it, up. it up and then taped it yeah. up and then drug it into his garage. Yeah, and then he and filmed this very creepy video. And yet there's no blood anywhere or Not you know, yet. no trail. Well, you know, it, I yet. don't think it has blood like we think of blood. They view it more like a, it has a, if they do believe that what they've talked about with the greys, they have some form of rudimentary gastric system slash uh, blood vessel system. Most of the time they are literally a 3D printed meat husk that is operated by a consciousness in a remote location. All right, move for me. This is our life. This is literally the only thing I know. Yeah, for get, sure. Get, get used to it, fucker. <laughs> Academic Marcus would kill an alien like a farmer kills a coyote. See, I like this because he looks like a breakfast taco. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I haven't had a breakfast taco in a while. It's a good idea. You know, okay, home state's good. Yo, I love home state. I just haven't had it. Okay. I don't know why breakfast tacos aren't more often called, like, common. No, I mean, they were when I first moved here, but, you know. It's, just, I it's, it's phases. Yeah, it's phases. I, I think I'm ready to re You know, you can kind of see it's like the oh, light it's is... it's still alive! Well, it's kind of like the blight is blinking off, and you see that the, he says it is described as ultra, it's extremely light. So yeah, it might look like those are noodly legs that are fake, but actually it could be real. Did he... I mean, if it's blinking, you gotta step on its head. <laughs> now you step on the neck. Crawl space, if you knew for sure you would get probed, but you you get to meet aliens, to, and, but you remember everything, would you? Yeah. I've been bum fed shit up my ass plenty of times. Of course. I'm about to. I don't need to meet an alien. You probably have already. You probably sold one to Cheesesteak. <laughs> <laughs> Satan's little helper, it does look like the Luca Magnata video. Yeah, it does. Oof. Oof. I mean, it's poorly made dummy. It's See, really unless made. it's so weird looking because of how real it is. The eyes thing are, is cool. Yeah, I mean, that. he did, I, um, if I was in court, which I'm not. Not yet. Objection. Not about this. Oh. If I was not in court, if I was in court, I would maybe say it's not real, but I'm, I'm streaming. Okay, so um, when's he going to fucking do something? It's a minute. This, minute, minute, this is an eight, eight and a long. half minute long video. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we can go a little forward. Yeah, okay. There we go. Oh, he's still making it in front of us. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> 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 All right, I'll is he just rip fucking, out one of his eyes. Yeah, what? This isn't an autopsy. This He's is, playing with it. This is what they do. You don't know you're dead. You don't know what they do. They don't start grabbing at your eyes. This no. is what I would do. Russell, it's like the crime scene at Wonderland. <laughs> Ooh. See, look, it's the blood oh, from its head wounds. I thought they didn't have blood, Henry. It's lightly blooded. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why is it dressed like Steve Jobs? <laughs> I don't know. It's because life is complicated. Where okay, do you think and he can't be making these decisions all the time. From. Yeah, he's looking at the legs. Okay, all right, yeah. And this is a the much same longer shit. video than even just this. This is a cut. Yeah. This is the shit I watch at night. Really? Yeah. It's all horrible like this. I never sleep. I mean, there is an A. This is very much an ASMR video. Yeah, if you're a pervert. Why is this perverted? It's not normally supposed to sound like Tony Soprano's lav mic. <laughs> <laughs> Satan's a little helper. Not going to lie. You usually skip the scory part of these pornos. Got him. I mean, it's got the crinkling, it's got the heavy breathing, the it's, crinkling got, it's got the squelching, it's got a lot of squelching. I love squelching. Oh, yes. So apparently this guy was also on Art Bell. It makes a lot of fucking sense. He called this Freddy. Wow. Oh, he called the alien Freddy? Yeah. He looks like a Freddy. Mm -hmm. Right? Maybe a... It's enough. Yeah. It's enough. It's enough. I appreciate you finding that. Enough for what? For the show. Okay. It's enough. Right. Yeah, it's enough. Yeah. yeah it's enough. Well, enough. Enough. <laughs> Literally, I, uh, you know, this is, I'm just bringing to people what they want to see. This is obviously what they want to see. Is that obviously. what they want to see? Oh, yeah, of course. Absolutely. He, they, they love this. They're dying mm -hmm. for it. Um, And now, I think it's time. Time for what? I think we're here. I think it's time. We're talking about going down the hallway, the center of the mind of the AI, confronting the enigma, the God in your pocket. You know, I think it's time to look AI directly in its fucking eyeballs. Oh, okay. And tell it to go fuck itself. Oh! Now, this, now, we, this obviously was... I forgot who put this up. You look good! Yeah, you really do. Why don't you look like that? I don't know. Actually, I That's don't. life! That's life! <laughs> That's what so, all the people say. This is what an AI thinks this is supposed to be You're like. riding high in April. Shut down in May. That's nice. Actually, but it I is. know I'm it's fine. gonna change that tune. Actually, it does get your vibrato. When A little I'm bit. Back on top, back on top in June. But we're gonna fucking show you right now. I said that's life. Fuck this guy. Fuck this fake version of me. And Except, no, I love the guy who seem. made it. YouTube at They Kill Kenny. Oh, that's great. People get you kids. did a good job, but fuck the robot. Stop it right? on a dream. We you can't just make him more powerful. Me. But I don't let it. Well, let it yeah, get with me every down. word you with... start putting my fucking. Yeah, I'm gonna put my, my fucking world. money where my mouth used to be, which is my asshole. What are you gonna do it better? Yeah. Alright, cut this fucking guy out of here. All right, it's now it's time. All right. Old John Henry Zabrowski. They oh, said yeah. they didn't know if he could beat the machine. Because right? when all the men came through with the steam-led machines, they said, well, you know, no one's, we don't need a man's hand to build the roads anymore. All right? We're going to need a man's hands to go out there and sing karaoke anymore. But you know what? Fuck that. Because guess what? What? What makes us human? The blood and the shit and the sweat and the calm. And the smegma. No. All, all that shit mm -hmm. ain't going to be replaced by these goddamn AIs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, AI can't. Because that's come. what makes us good. Right. That's what makes us something else. Right. It's so now it's time to remember. What's happening? Talking about how that is fucking life, huh? You really just going to start singing right now? This yeah. is it. Key of G, Henry. Dude. Yeah, don't yeah, get Key of good. Hey, hey. Fuck this shit, dude. Fuck the AI, man. It's my time, man. That's life. All right. That's what all the people say. He does sound better. He does. You're yeah. riding high in April. Shut down in May. I forget that you can sing But sometimes. I know mm -hmm. I'm gonna change that too. Nice. When I'm back on top. Back on top in June. Yeah, I said that's life. And as funny as it may seem, some people get their kicks stomping on a dream. All right. Fuck them. But I don't let it, let it get me down. 
Cause this final world, it keeps spinning around. I've been a puppet, a pauper, a pirate, a poet, a pawn, and a king. He's I've been up table. and down and over and out, and I know one thing. Each time I find myself flat on my face, I pick myself up and get back in race. That's life. That's, That's life. life. And I tell you, I can't deny it. I thought of quitting, baby, but my, my heart just ain't gonna buy it. And if I didn't think it was worth one single try, I'd jump right on a big bird and then I'd fly. Get this man on a cruise ship. Yeah. Yeah. I've been a puppet, a pauper, a pirate, a poet. Upon the king. All right. I've been up and down and over and out. And I know one thing. Okay. Each time I find myself laying flat on my face, I just pick myself up and get back in the race. I can't tell if he's happy or not. Does this usually happen? So do you do you enjoy watching a man sing a song? Yeah, like I go just, to concerts just, all the time. No, no, no. I just mean like watching a man sing a song alone. Like you're just in a room with a man. I mean, that was nice. You think so? So you enjoyed? I enjoyed it. It was you know, it wasn't great, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah it makes me uncomfortable. Well, you know, its mm. whole thing is uncomfortable. You know, what are we, yeah. how are we just watching the alien get his fucking brains ripped out? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that, that that will happen sometime on the show. You, you know, and these are the things. These are the things you're gonna have to get used to. You got, oh, you got any like cashews? Oh, cashews. I got nuts. The only thing I can eat in this fucking studio now is nuts. I really like cashews. I think he's gonna be fine. Yeah, I think he's gonna be okay. I don't think we really have anything to worry about here. So, you got your liquid aids there? <laughs> <laughs> so have you really never had winter candle? Never. I always drive by it and I always wanted it, but I never wanted it that much. I know which one you're talking about too, Unc. Was he a cop? Hmm. You think a fucking robot can tell me what to do? upset he seems really mad i mean fine yeah you know you take the time you black out the u-haul <laughs> on the box but then <laughs> he just knocked it to the other side and then just showed the u-haul it really did but you know if you need to move in a jam you can you, pick you can up go a to u-haul and get a truck u-hauls are great i kind of prefer penske how was that that's life that's life and i can't deny it 
many times I thought I cut now, but my heart it won't buy it. But if there's nothing shaking, come hear this to lie. I'm gonna roll myself up in a big bowl and die. Support your local goodwill. 